Welcome to the new forest in Hampshire. We're going to take you on a guided walk from here where we are now, Ashurst, down to Brockenhurst. We're now at Ashurst train station, which makes this a great linear walk because you can just get on the train when you get down to Brockenhurst and come back. You'll also see over behind me, there's a great pub there called the New Forest. Uh, we haven't been in there yet, we've had a pint to start the walk down at the Happy Cheese just down the road. But um, it's a good place to end the walk. And if you're camping, there's a Forestry Commission campsite just over that way. Right, let's get going. Right, we've been going for about half a mile now. We've come across some nice sort of open common ground, but we're not really sort of into the New Forest proper yet. You can see there's a lot of uh, woodland fringe around here, which is great habitat for deer. Unfortunately, there's quite a lot of dog walkers around here, so uh, we probably won't see any in this part, but we're hopefully going to see some more later. Now, at this point, to my left, there's another path which leads straight back around to where we started. But because we're going to do this big, longer linear walk, about 10 miles altogether, we reckon, we're going to carry on straight down here. This walk is divided into three separate sections and is fairly representative of New Forest habitats. The first section passes through a stunning area of mixed woodland and particularly in the autumn the colours here can be fantastic. We might see deer here, but probably not. There's quite a lot of dog walkers around and they tend to scare the deer off. Navigation is fairly simple. Or is it? As you can see, um, we're in the woods on the first section here and there's quite a few paths that go off in different directions. Uh, we've just come from this one down here. But um, it's quite important on this walk, make sure you've got a decent map. Uh, we've got the Alden Survey map of the New Forest, OL22, which gives it all in 20, 25,000 scale. People tend to think of the New Forest as a great big patch of woodland, but it isn't. And probably the most important habitat of all is one that we're just coming to, just ahead. Right, we've come up about a mile now so far, um, all through the woods. It's very much dog walkers territory. Um, um, but the great thing about this linear walk is we can really get out into some places where not many people go to. And this is where we're hoping we're going to see some deer. So this is pretty much the end of the first bit of woods. Um, if I come through here, we're now going to head out onto the heath. Because down this way, we've got a good mile and a half of heath to cross. And uh, it's fantastic, classic new forest terrain. So, do you want to come with me? Heath is an important habitat, particularly for ground nesting birds and reptiles, but there isn't an awful lot of it left. It's been estimated that Britain has lost nine tenths of its heath in the last hundred years, and the New Forest remains as the most significant lowland heath in the whole of Western Europe. The trees recede into the distance on this part of the walk, and in the summer this is a riot of purple heather and yellow gorse flowers. It's a fantastic place to be. If you look carefully from some vantage points, you might even see some birds of prey browsing the heather for food. Right, here we are at, as you can see, Shatterford. This is kind of the halfway point of the walk. Uh, right behind me, there's Beaulieu Road train station. Um, so you can either walk the first half and then get the train back, or you could start here and carry on all the way down to Brockenhurst and then get the train back to here, or whichever way you want, really. But uh, it's a great spot for us to have some lunch. So that's what we're going to do right here. In fact, the great thing about this walk is that it seems almost easier to do a linear walk than a circular one, which is quite rare for walkers. Now, with our intrepid researchers fed, and the dog watered, we're off again. We're going to head down across some more heath to a great stretch of woodland. <laughs> the paths across the heath are well maintained by the Forestry Commission, but either side there are some great stretches of wetland. These don't just attract heathy birds, but also plenty of wetland birds as well. You'll quite often see wading birds or herons, any birds that have made their way from the Solent into the new forest itself, you'll probably find them here. But the real goodies are just inside the woods. Right, well we've had our lunch up the top of the hill just here, we've come across another huge great section of heath. Uh, this is the bit where we're really hoping that we're going to see some deer. Uh, not many people actually come walking down this way, uh, particularly midweek, so the woods tend to be pretty quiet. And we're hoping that if we're fairly quiet ourselves, we might just have an encounter with some deer. So the edge of the woods are just down this side, and obviously deer like to rest up during the day inside the woods, but they come out to the edge of the, uh, onto the heath itself at night uh, to feed. So obviously we're hoping we're going to catch sight of them just inside the woods there.
The reason these woods are so great for spotting deer is because of these huge great rides, which are a really easy place to spot deer. Quite often there's open patches and clearings either side of the path, so you can usually get a pretty good view of them um, from just a few yards away, which we have just now. Right, we've seen our deer, we've come out of the woods now, we're at a place called Standing Hat, which in the summer and the holidays is quite a popular place for people to come for picnics. We seem to have the place to ourselves at the moment, but we're going to carry on walking now. Um, there is a Forestry Commission camp if you turn right at the main road you come to. Uh, you can camp there, you can even bring all your gear down on this walk and just camp somewhere else. We're not going to do that, we're going to turn left, because in Brockenhurst we've heard there's a great pub called the Snake Catcher, which has got some fantastic real ales. Well, we didn't find the snake charmer, but we found the rose and crown. Cheers.